Uh, hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. This is part two of Liberation. Uh, we're going to be looking at the mission parameters today. So let's take a look. So we're going to head to where we installed this server last time. If you did install yours on a different hard drive, then make sure you go to the correct location of wherever it is that you installed it. Um, obviously I installed it on the C drive. We're going to head into there. I'm a free server. And then we're going to head into Steam Apps. Common. I'm a free server and then we're going to head into the mission, uh, MP missions. Um, in here, uh, like I've always suggested before, even with Exile, um, go ahead and make a backup folder uh, just in case you do fuck up, you've got something to revert back to. Um, go ahead and open the KP Liberation uh, PBO uh, with PBO Manager. If you don't have PBO Manager, just go ahead and download it from Armaholic and install it. Once you've installed it, go ahead and right click on the PBO. Uh, it should show up like this red um, if you've installed it correctly. Um, go ahead and click on it, uh, right click on it, uh, head down to PBO Manager and click on the, the bottom link here. It should then put everything in a folder for you um, if you do it right. Um, obviously, once you've got everything in the folder and it's done, it's complete, just go ahead and drag and drop the uh, main PBO back into the uh, backups folder. So then you've got that backup. Right, so the next thing you're going to do is we are going to head into the um, folder, we're going to head into the UI, and we're going to head down to Mission Parameters. Um, double click into this, and these are the things that I normally change, guys. Alright, so I will normally go to the um, difficulty, I will either put um, two is normal and one is um, easy I will normally change this to one if I'm playing by myself uh, if if I'm playing a, 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 as a group of um, I normally have around four people that normally play with me um, I'll normally leave this on two um, just so then it's you know a little bit harder for us all um, normal is quite hard easy, easy is still it's still quite hard but you know it just gives you that little bit of a a um, little bit of a ease um, but yeah right so heading down and um, we'll leave that one on one uh, we're gonna head down and I don't normally change any of this uh, the danger uh, I normally put shorter nights on and um, so you're gonna change this to um, one to enable it and the weather uh, I normally leave on free uh, free is um, like a dramatic weather so like you get um, rain and stuff and clouds uh, sunny as well um, if you put this on two um, that's normally uh, just like sunny and as as well as a little bit of clouds you don't get no rain with it though and one is disabled so it's just sunny constantly so I normally leave this on free just so then you get a different effect of everything really um, this one is your um, resources so how much um, resources uh, gets uh, dropped at the um, mission places I normally change this to six just because of the fact that if I'm by myself you know I, I, I want quite a bit of resources because you know I, I want to be able to get some stuff done um, but yeah I normally change that to six so right this next part is the um, uh, revive so we want to uh, if memory serves me right just give me two seconds to have a scan through this quick right so um, let me just have a look through my my one because I want to get this right for you guys because obviously if you see different parameters right now then this is just an, a different one that I use this is my Tanoa one right so if we move this over here uh, this on the right hand side here is my Tanoa settings um, obviously don't go off of these because these are completely different from the Altus ones. Uh, this is just mine. I just want a quick reference as to what I changed uh, the revives to because the re revives that you get at the moment in game is the fact that only a medic can medic other um, players. But I've I've got it set so then anybody that comes on your server can medic you, which is hundred times better I think because then you know you're not having to fuck about with medics and stuff but um, right so let's have a look so I kept um, the revive mode as one I kept the duration as six I put the uh, right okay so it was this that I had to change so right so the required uh, required um, 
the revive quite uh, revive required <laughs> if I can spit that out you need to change this to zero and then this will obviously give you the fact that um, anybody can do the um, do the medicine um, then what we're going to do is we are going to leave that on one uh, the revive items we're going to change this to two which is the medic and uh, first aid kit that you can use and then this is set to zero and then this is what I changed down here because it only gives you 180 seconds um, to be able to uh, go and revive somebody so that's like two two minutes to just over two minutes I think uh, 60 oh no, two, literally two minutes to um, go and re revive someone so I put this up to 20 minutes just in case somebody's in a firefight and they couldn't get to you um, so I put an extra zero on here you have to put an extra zero on this one as well so make them both 1800 and then this down here we're gonna make this 1800 as well for the default um, just obviously yeah just keep it like that uh, the respawn um, duration just leave that on 10 um, right the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head down here right this part here is to enable enable stamina um, one one is in enabled two is disabled um, now I don't use this I use a mod um, to uh, make my stamina go off but I've never actually tried this I mean you can change this if you want so you know, to disable it just go ahead and type zero um, once you've done that well so I normally change map markers normally leave that on mobile respawn keep that on the oh the duration of <coughs> of the mobile respawn cooldown so you want to change this to five or else if you've got your mobile respawn with you which is um, nine times out of ten it's your um, Huron or Chinook um, it, it, it allows you to um, respawn at the um, at the choppers instead of the actual um, FOBs or um, operation base uh, just purely as like a quick respawn uh, you do get chance to use the uh, mobile arsenal as well obviously you can disable it as you can see right there um, but yeah just go ahead and click us on five that'll be from like I think it's like around uh, what 300 uh, seconds I think it's around five minutes um, but yeah uh, like I say here as well you can turn off turn on the um, mobile arsenal just keep this on because then you can ch uh, put your loadouts back on straight away and yada yada uh, till key, uh, team uh, kill penalty as well you can turn this on on or off obviously just change it to a one or a zero um, obviously I, I just keep this on zero um, I don't do none I don't change any of this um, permissions and that's normally on one uh, clean up vehicles I don't touch any of that uh, the whitelist I normally change this on we will talk about this in a different video though um, server restarts I don't really tend to restart the server um, I do I tend to do it on a day-to-day -day basis um, obviously if you're just playing by yourself just go ahead and turn it off it, sa it saves your process anyway um, you don't want to wipe the server on a save um, I think that's pretty much it guys yeah that's pretty much it um, but yeah once you've done that go ahead and click save um, obviously if you've done something wrong the server will fucking obviously let you know that you've done something wrong and it won't load up that's nine times out of ten what it will do it just won't load um, so therefore you know that you've hit an extra I know you might have put a, a space in between the um, zero and the um, uh, little marker whatever it's called I don't know um, semicolon column I don't know um, um, but yeah uh, yeah you might have put an extra zero or something in you know you might have typed an extra zero by accident or something you know or missed off a comma or something somewhere um, but yeah just um, obviously um, just revert back to your backup file and then go through the um, appropriate um, settings again and but yeah this is pretty much this this is all I change and I have a decent game with everything that I've changed right here guys um, but obviously once you've done that uh, just go ahead and drop back and obviously go down to PBO manager uh, re-PBO it back up and go ahead and start your um, game up and 
it will load up your new settings and people will be able to revive each other you'll have shorter nights and yeah Bob's your uncle guys but right I hope you liked it guys we will move on to part three in the next video which we'll talk about um, possibly uh, how to set up Zeus yeah we'll look at how to do Zeus in the next video and possibly in the video after that maybe whitelisting um, but yeah right guys I hope you've enjoyed it uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you didn't give it a, a thumbs down um, like always I'm, I'm, I'm open to donations guys uh, keeps me off of work and makes me stay at home more to being more inclined in doing videos and yeah link for that so at the top of the um, top of my YouTube page on the right hand side donations link and right guys I will see you in the next video. See you later.